I really wanted to do a snowshoeing video today. I wanted to take you up to the summit of Hachimantai, but the area where I wanted to go snowshoeing, it was just snow nearly up to my waist in some places, and it was just impossible. So I came to the shrine, and I hope this is interesting for you as well. This is Sakura Matsu Shrine and Fudo no Taki, Fudo Falls. In a lot of these old shrines, you see these guardian lions. Notice that one has the mouth closed. The other has its mouth open. This is saying, ah, which is a seed syllable from ancient Sanskrit, the beginning the opening, the creation of the universe. This is the mm, the final closing, the end. These Tori gates mark sacred territory. If you're doing everything according to the rules, then you would bow before entering each one of them. And also not walk through the center, but maybe be walking off to one side or the other as the gods walk in the center of these gates. Let me show you how you do this. At a shrine, first you ring the bell to get the attention of the gods who perhaps are high in the mountains. Then you bow twice as everything in it begins with bowing in Japan. But these are gods, so you bow twice, not once. Then you pray and clap twice. And I was told that the clapping twice is like the sending of your prayers. Then, as in all things in Japan, it also ends with a bow. If you've been to any shrine in Japan, then you'll be familiar with these emma, where people write their prayers, their wishes, on these little wooden plates. Traditionally, they would have horses on them, but of course now there's all sorts of designs, depending on the location. This person wants to get 100% on their test. This person is just wishing for happiness. This person wants to live happily with their family. This person is praying for COVID to end soon. This tree is called the En Musubi tree, as it is joined up there and at the base. And people pray to this for love and good matches. This shrine or little temple it's built right into this cliff. This is a dragon or a snake god, Yujin Sama. That is worshipped here. Snake shrines are not that common. Almost looks Hindu. We're now approaching Kudo Falls, which has long been a training place 
for the practitioners of Shugendo, the Yamabushi, these mountain ascetics. I've come to the bridge, which is usually where people view the waterfall from, but look how deep the snow is. It's uh, almost knee height here. Many people in Japan believe in things they call power spots. In fact, they even use a katakana word, pawa spotto, to describe places like this. I have many Japanese friends who actually say they feel they really feel things in places like this. Some sort of supernatural thing, a weight, an energy, a force, a presence. I don't know, personally, I love beautiful natural areas and I find this to be spectacularly beautiful, peaceful, idyllic, wonderful, but I don't personally feel any supernatural powers really anywhere, but I can see how the atmosphere is great. So if you're the type who feels that sort of thing, you'd certainly maybe feel it here. And I can see why this was a training place for these ascetic mountain mystics. There's a practice called takigyo, or sort of a waterfall training that these uh, yamabushi would engage in in places like this, in these waterfalls. They would stand under the waterfall, with the water cold, frigid, washing over them, and chant either out loud or at least in their mind, the Heart Sutra, the Hanya Shingyo. The Sakuramatsu Shrine and Fudo Falls here in Hachimantai are unfortunately pretty difficult to access without a car. There isn't really any way to get here except by car. It's, it's pretty remote, pretty far away from everything else. A link to the location is of course in the description. I'm gonna start doing more casual um, actual vlogs, sort of vlog in the sense of really just a, a blog but uh, done in video and not in uh, text on my Patreon page. And so if you're interested in more casual information about hiking and just my thoughts on the different areas and things around here in Tohoku, then uh, please consider joining my Patreon. If you are on Instagram, I am on Instagram as Quinlan. And if you use Twitter, I'm GoNorthJ on Twitter. And please, please subscribe and make sure that you've got the notifications, that little bell button turned on on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Thank you. The snow falling is just so beautiful here through these trees. This place has been inhabited for more than 10,000 years, just like everywhere around here. First by the Jomon peoples, then who became the Ainu, followed by the Emishi tribes, and finally by the Yamato Empire. But these mountain ascetics, the Yamabushi, who I think inherit a lot of their intuitions, both from Buddhist as well as shamanistic and uh, animistic traditions, are just so fascinating. If it is at all possible with uh, Corona, etc., uh, next fall I want to take their week long sort of training initiation process to become one of them. I would love to reinitiate. I have sort of a dream of restarting the Yamabushi tradition here in Iwate. Right now it's still um, going strong in Yamagata and some areas in other parts of Japan, but there's nearly no visible Yamabushi tradition anymore in Iwate that I've been able to discover, and I think it would be wonderful to get it going again. This Sakura Matsu Shrine and Fudo Falls are one of my favorite places up here in Iwate. It's just a little area, it's really hard to get here, but it just feels so majestic. I hope you like it too, and I hope you wanna come check it out sometime. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the trails.